Please make welcome from Elkins, West Virginia, Emily Miller and Jesse Milnes. Hi everyone, we figured, uh, we're so happy to be here at the Floyd Radio Show. And we figured since we're at the Floyd Country Store, we should play you some country music. We're gonna play a tune by the great uh, Hazel Dickens. This is called Only the Lonely. much. <clears throat> well, uh, Jesse and I uh, live in Elkins, West Virginia. We were, we're married, and uh, we got married up around there about three years ago. About, oh, I think so. Seems like it. <laughs> seems, seems like forever ago. But um, <clears throat> when we were getting married, uh, we, uh, you know, I love country music like that last one. Most of the songs I know are about heartache and divorce. And um, <laughs> I was trying to think of a good song to dance to at our wedding, and I like really came up blank, so I decided I had to write one for Jesse. So this is one uh, that I wrote for him for our wedding. It's called, I Got Lucky With You. Well, I could drive for miles looking for that New York parking spot. By the time I whiff a smoking trend, it's hardly ever high. And the most I've ever wanted cards was a seven dollar pot well, You may ask if I regret these things, but I assure you I do not Because fortune only smiles on very few in this world You can't expect it all to come to you in this world Well, I have to muddle through these other things that I do Lucky with you. I'll play. Well, 
other things that I do because I got lucky with you. Yes, you know that fortune only smiles on very few in this world. Oh no, you can't expect it all to come to you in this world. So I have to muddle through these other things that I do. Well, we're going to do uh, one more little fiddle tune here for you. Emmy's going to get out her fiddle. She plays the fiddle, too. This is Sally Ann Johnson. First song is one that comes from our Randolph County, West Virginia, where we live, from a guy named uh, Currents Hammonds, and we learned it via Jesse's dad, Jerry, um, and recordings of Currents. So, come all you roving gamblers. Georgia 
July. Millions of women all around me, and not a true one can I find. As I sit here alone in this old jailhouse, forty dollars won't pay my fine. Whiskey has ruined my body. Pretty women are troubling. can dig me a hole in the meadow and lay this poor gambler down. One that uh, is from Pocahontas County, West Virginia, which we drove through to get here today. Really, the drive from Elkins, West Virginia to Floyd, Virginia is so beautiful. I really recommend just coming up to Elkins sometime so you can take that drive. <laughs> it's really nice. We went through Green Bank by the big radio observatory there and, uh, you know, lots and lots and lots of farms. It was amazing. Um, we didn't go through a major town until we got to, like, for like three and a half hours or something. It was amazing. Anyway, I digress. But we drove through Pocahontas County, West Virginia, where this tune comes from. And uh, it's from various members of the Hammonds family. And it's called Fine Times at Our House. Fine Times at Our House. Kate's got a little one. Bless its little soul, it's another little pretty one.
uh, we're, we're going to do one last song for you here before we um, move on to more exciting sketches and such. But uh, I, I hope you guys all know that our wonderful sound engineer here is one of the best in the entire yeah. world. We know from experience we've tried out a lot of them, and uh, we always come back to Joe Bass de Jernet, yeah. who is so wonderful. And uh, I bring this up because not only does he do live sound, but he also makes amazing records. He's like, he just has, he's recorded so many amazing um, musicians and old time music. And Jesse recorded his, I, we've recorded many, many CDs with him, uh, but Jesse recorded his solo album, Bucking Mule, uh, in right close to here in Eggleston, Virginia, at Joe's old studio. And we're going to do a tune off of that record now. And uh, yeah called John Henry. When John Henry was just a little baby boy, he was sitting on his daddy's knee. He said that big Ben tunnel on the CNO. It's gonna be the death of me, poor boy, now it's gonna be the death of me. But poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone. Poor old John Henry's dead and gone. Well, John Henry went up on the mountain, and he looked up at the sky. Well, the mountain was so tall, and John Henry was so small, that he laid down his hammer and he cried, cried, cried. Looked down his hammer and he cried. But poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone. Now poor old John Henry's dead and got to see me swing. I weigh 49 pounds from my hips on down. And I love to make that cold steel ring. Oh, yes, I, I love to make that cold steel ring. But poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone. Poor old John Henry's dead and gone. Well, the captain, he said to John Henry, it sounds like the mountain caving in. Well, John Henry said to the captain, he said, That ain't nothing but my hammer sucking wind. No, that ain't nothing but my hammer sucking wind. Now, but poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone. Poor old John Henry's dead and gone. Said a cool drink of water for I die, poor boy, just a cool drink of water for I die. But poor old John Henry's dead and gone, gone, gone now. Poor old John Henry's dead and gone. Brown and the Piedmont,
pocket change, some dollars in my bill. If I had ten dollars more, I'd climb up to the hill. Gentlemen, we are very, very happy to be here. And I want you to know that uh, it really did take five years, not for lack of trying, but I was too busy in your bedroom every morning giving you the world news <laughs> to, to make it out to the Floyd Radio Show. And this is, I can tell you right now, far preferable as far as I'm concerned. Where all the news is good and everybody has a good time, the Floyd Radio Show. I want to introduce all the Piedmont pals. They're a great bunch. Right over here, he's they say 1928, he used to tell me, was a good model year. It was the year the Model A Ford came out, and so did he. Please welcome Mr. Verlin Clifton. Those of you who uh, know old-time music know that Verlin is a living legend, and not just in his own mind, but he really was the mandolin picker with the infamous Camp Creek Boys and with the Smoky Valley Boys, and it's been our pleasure, and mine and Terry's, to to play music and make music with Furlan and the Toast String Stretchers for 25 years and play in the Smoky Valley Boys all together. We've known one another probably over 35 years or so. So we still love to play these old time tunes from Surrey County, North Carolina and right around there. And that's what we're gonna give you today. Over to the other side here, who looks vaguely like Verlin Clifton. There's a reason for that. Because everybody's gotta have a grandson who picks the guitar. Please make welcome Mr. Wes Clifton. who told us the other night that when he was a kid, he didn't know anything about this music, and Terry and I kindly corrected him and said, why, Wes, you went on a trip with the Toast String Stretchers one night. You went with us on a job in the van. You were 12 years old, and you were asking questions the whole time. So he heard plenty of the music ever since he was a kid, and we're glad to have him with us. Right here, also, somebody who's managed somehow, I don't know just exactly how, but she's managed to put up with me for almost 30 years. At the, at, in Thanksgiving, it'll be 30 years. If we make it. If we make it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, she was a good physics teacher back in her day, but more than that, she won the 1982 Galax Fiddlers Convention Banjo Contest outright and went to the Knoxville World's Fair and then quit competing. Quit while you're ahead. What do you think? 
Please make welcome Ms. Terry McMurray. And to the back here, we have young Joe Bass, Joe DiGiorno, the fixture of the Floyd radio show, the man who makes everything sound good. So we're happy to have him along, too, because he really knows how to play that bass. And Paul, Paul Brown already... Here's a really old tune that Terry and I are going to play you, just the two of us, to take us all the way back to the old days before guitars were around and there were fiddles and there were banjos. Tommy Jarrell used to know this tune. He said he learned it from an old Confederate War, Civil War veteran uh, by the name of Zach Payne when he was a little boy walking along the road with his fiddle in his hand and the old man came up and said, here son, let me have that fiddle, I want to show you a tune. And the tune, the fiddle was tuned like a violin, a concert violin. And Tommy said, I'd never heard one tuned like that before because he was using the old Scots-Irish tunings. And the tune is Devil in the Straw Stack. It's a wonderful old tune. We hope you enjoy it. You just, uh, we're going to get Anna and Elizabeth up here for our next song, and if they're handy, we'll see if we can get them out on stage. There they are. Please make them welcome again. Can't you just imagine that in a war encampment back around 1861 or two or three before there was any guitars or anything like that? Just hear a tune like that floating through the woods at night? I can. So that's an old tune right there. Here's another old one. Some of you might know the song uh, Nine Pound Hammer if you listen to Bluegrass. And before it, there was this song that I learned from my mom. She learned it in Bedford County, Virginia in the 1920s from two African-American brothers, Harry and John Calloway. I never met them, but the reason I like to say their names is I don't like history to be forgotten. And a, a lot of it was. So uh, then before that, it was a railroad work song. So it's gone through several transformations over the years. And mom always called it red clay country that Harry and John sang. So we're going to give it a go here. I'm going back to the red clay country. I'm going back to the red clay country. I'm going back to the red clay country. That's my home, baby, that's my home. Tell them I'm gone. I'm going back to the red clay country. I'm going back to the red clay country. 
I'm going back to the red clay country. That's my home, baby, that's my home. Tell her I'm gone. I'm going back to the Red Lake Country. I'm going back to the Red Lake Country. I'm going back to the Red Lake Country. That's my home, baby. That's my home. Hammer, give it to the captain. Tell him I'm gone, baby. Tell him I'm gone. If he asks you where I've gone to, if he asks you where I've gone to, if he asks you where I've gone to, tell him you don't know, baby. You don't know. I'm going back to the red clay country. I'm going back to the red clay country. I'm going back to the Red Clay Country. That's my home, baby, that's my home. And had he come run to the window, old Dan had he come run to the window. Old and had he come run to the window, I'm passing by, babe, I'm passing by. I'm going back to the Red Clay Country. I'm going back to the Red Clay Country. I'm going back to the Red Clay Country. That's my home, baby, that's my home. Red Clay Country. Thanks to Anna and Elizabeth. We got one more little song for you, so we're told. We're going to play an old Round Peak, North Carolina special. Come on up here, Berlin. Can't do this one without you, buddy. Berlin, he's the, he's the last man standing of the old Round Peak great musicians. Give him another round of applause. We have had more good times with, uh, with Berlin and Betty, who's our band manager over here. And I remember when we hired her as the band manager of the Toast String Stretchers, and the first thing she said was, yeah, and there's going to be some changes made. <laughs> <laughs> the only change we had is we got more laughs and more smiles even than we had before, which was too much to stand. So we've had a good, good time all the way along. And uh, Ferlin here, he helped to get me into radio a long time ago. I was working at a truck stop overnight. And uh, he said, you ought to go over to the radio station in Mount Airy and get yourself a job. WPAQ, and eventually I did. Amazing. He said the same to his grandson. Yeah, yeah he did the same thing same to Wes. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, here we go with a little Susan Anna gal, a tune we all know and love, and then we'll be back later.
y'all. How about a little love song? What do y'all say? We ready for a love song? From a sweet Terry's lips And I'd build my hive on her brow Say do you love me, Katie Klein, Katie Klein Say do you love me, Katie Klein Say do you love me, my sweet little girl Say do you love me, Katie Klein bird, a little bird, I'd fly far over the sea, I'd fly, I would fly, and I never would return, till my sweetheart said for me, say do you love me Katie Klein, Katie Klein, say do you love me Katie Klein. A turtle dove, I'd never build my nest on the ground. I'd build my nest in a white oak tree where them bad boys could never tear it down. Say, do you love me, Katie Klein? Katie Klein. Say, do you love me, Katie Klein? Say, do you love me, my sweet little girl? Say, do you love me, Katie Klein? Everybody loves the love song. Well, next we have a little square dance tune for you. There doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room yet in here to square dance, but who knows? You could flat foot a little in the aisles. Well, there. we figure if one person in the row starts dancing, the rest will have to. Back in the day when Verlin and I used to play square dances at, with the Smoky Valley Boys, sometimes up at Fairview Ruriton Building near Galax, we'd stand up for four or five hours and just play the tar out of tunes like this one and others as well. A little bit of Gray Eagle, and we hope you enjoy it.
you very much. Good dancing out there. We like that. We're going to bring uh, Wes up here and play one of the songs that we all used to play around the Round Peak community. All the old timers played it. Tommy Darrell played it. Benton Flippin played it. Fred Cockrum loved it. Verlin played it. They all Paul played Sutton. it. Paul Sutton was the man. It was his theme song. You couldn't go to a show where where Paul was around with his guitar and not hear him sing Let Me Fall. So we're going to get Wes up here. He's going to sing a little bit of it. And we hope you enjoy this one at least as much as you've enjoyed the last one. <laughs> there you go.
right, this next song we're going to do is called Elder's Prayer. It's a song I wrote. It's about the younger, the older generation kind of sharing with the younger generation some words of wisdom, encouraging um, them to take the time to find some peace of mind in nature. One, two, three. Wash my sins away, wash my sins away. We walked and talked and took delight in the company of the sun at the table facing me. My elder, she smiled and shared with me. Wash my sins away, gonna do one about dancing in New Orleans. It's a waltz for all you waltzers. One, two, three. One. Two step with me across the dance floor. This honky tonk song speaks to me. Hold me tight, it's all right. You can't hurt me, you can just hurt my pride.
keep on dancing with someone new But my heart stayed back there with you I know to you I'm just someone new to dance across the dance floor.